Hello and welcome to E3D's in-game facial rig. Um, this is a bone-based rig um, simply because video game engines do not deal with uh, line shapes. A few do, but um, you know most, most like Unreal 3, um, you want to have a bone-based uh, weighted system here uh, to bring into your game engine. So everything has to be weighted bones. Um, this basically consists of two pieces of geometry And the one major piece we're going to be uh, weighting is just the head, and we'll inherit the weights into this um, helmet piece and goggles piece. I can turn it off here. This is right now the uh, facial rig finished Maya binary file. As you can see, we've got the occlusion on here. Um, I have a separate file without the occlusion and without all the shadowing, so that uh, we can just start by weighting this, and then we'll eventually copy the weights over to this via inherent weighting. Um, let's go ahead and show you the outliner as far as what this consists of. Um, the skeleton, which has all the different facial bones, which we're going to go over. The meshes, again, pilot mesh and the helmet goggles mesh. As a rigger, it's very important to keep your uh, scene very, very clean. Um, and this is definitely one way to go. The GUI, this is what uh, is used by a set driven keys through curves to control the actual face. And it consists of a front camera that's been duplicated and a series of curves that are grouped and then shoved off into the corner of no man's land in this scene. So to see the GUI, all we have to do is uh, open up a window pane and go ahead and choose orthographic. And then as you can see, I renamed it GUI cam. And here is the actual cam itself. Go ahead and zoom up a little bit here. And it consists, again, of set-driven keys for brows, all different joints that were strategically placed. I have a tongue on here. Um, that's up to you if you want to use it and create your own tongue. But um, this tutorial, we don't have the tongue. But I will give you a brief intro on how to do that. Uh, there's nostril. There's sneer in nostril. And then there's just sneer. There's sync to create different phonemes. There's also, um, just for the jaw to move back and forth, there's upper lip and lower lip. So you can create all types of combos uh, with this stuff. Emote is for like smiling and frowning. And then these are little phonemes that are a little harder to create uh, by comboing these. So you have to kind of create them on your own. And we're going to go over how to do all of this and how to create this GUI uh, in later um, exercises. So uh, so you can create your own GUI on your own uh, without mine, but you can use this one um, just for now. As you can see, there's limitations on these curves as far as how they can move and so forth, and we'll go over how to create all of that. Um, again, we're going to lip sync this uh, to the WAV file provided. We're going to do a lip sync um, animation so you guys can kind of understand how, how I do animation for lip sync and how to go into your curve editor and uh, do tweaks on that as well. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So it's, let's load up the facial rig start file. 